Hello, and welcome to this Secure Programming for C course presented by EC Council. And so now let's talk about what we're going to be seeing in this course, starting with the course roadmap. So in this course, we're going to have six different modules. We're going to start out with an introduction to C, where we talk about the C programming language, how to write a simple C program, some C best practices, and sort of the sources of some of the vulnerabilities that we'll be talking about in the rest of this course. After that, we're going to dive straight into the different vulnerabilities that can exist in C programs. We'll start out talking about buffer overflows, which arise from poor memory management. And so in that module, we'll talk about buffer overflows, stack smashing, and return-oriented programming. After that, in module three, we're going to talk about formatting output. So being able to print out information to the terminal, very useful in a C application, but if it's not done correctly, and if that printed output relies on untrusted user input, there's a chance that it could make in a program vulnerable to attack. And so we'll look at how that works, how it can be exploited, and how to fix the code to out format output properly and securely. In our fourth video, we're going to talk about variable management and so how to securely use different variable types. In that video or module, we're going to be talking about integer overflows and underflows and these types of vulnerabilities that exist from converting from one variable type to another in an insecure fashion. In module five, we're going to talk about pointers. Pointers are very useful. They're very important to programming effectively in C, but they can also cause a number of different issues. We'll look at some of the more common ones like using null pointers and double free and use after free vulnerabilities. And then finally, we're going to talk about IO and file management. So safely managing input, output, etc., whether from the terminal or from files. And so what do you need for this course? So really the only prerequisite for this course is an environment in which you can develop C code. So there's a number of different integrated development environments or IDEs you can use, or you can use something as simple as a text editor and a compiler built into a lot of operating systems like Linux. And so not a lot of prereqs for this course. Some C knowledge would be helpful, but is certainly not required. We'll try to talk through every bit of the programs that we look at in this course so that even if you come into it not knowing much about programming in general or C programming in particular, you should still be comfortable with the videos and what we're discussing here. And so in this course, we have three main goals. We want to provide an introduction to identifying some of the most common types of vulnerabilities in C code. And we're going to do this by discussing the major vulnerability families and looking at C programs that contain examples of these vulnerabilities. After that, we're going to practice developing tests for identifying vulnerable code. And we'll learn how to do this by actually exploiting these vulnerable programs. And so once we've learned, oh, that this particular application is vulnerable to exploitation, we'll look at how exploitation can be performed. And that sort of knowledge is very useful for creating test cases because you know how to determine if your code is breakable by breaking it yourself. And then finally, we're going to work on fixing the issues with this C code. So once we know what the vulnerability is and how it can be exploited, we'll look at a revised version of the code that does not contain this vulnerability, talk about how it was fixed, and then attempt to exploit it with those same attacks and see that they no longer work. And so here we go.